Hello, fellow listeners. I'm Janine. And it's Thanksgiving. And I'm expressing my gratitude to you. If you're listening to this episode on Thanksgiving, even more so. That means you made me part of your special day. And that makes me really, really happy. My thank you goes out to all of you that have been listening off and on, or maybe since day one, to my episodes. This is a journey, not just for you, but it's also one for me. And I appreciate all of you joining in, being patient with the struggles of my adventure. There have been many. There have been episodes that I know you have not been able to hear as well, where maybe I used too many pauses, which I still do, and maybe my grammar wasn't on point. But it's a journey, right? And this is kind of my encouragement to all of you as well, to start, even though the picture isn't perfect, even if you feel like you're not perfect. We will never be perfect. We'll never be where we think we should be. We just have to start and put ourselves out there. And just like you're listening and showing your support, there will be people on your path that will show their support for you. So, Thanksgiving. It's a holiday for most of us in this country. And it's a special time. A day off, if nothing more. Some rest, hopefully. And for many, it's a time of togetherness, tradition, love, belonging, reunion, and companionship. For others, it may be time alone, working, maybe missing loved ones far away or no longer here, maybe ill, isolated, and lonely. Whatever this day is for you today, I hope my voice reaches out to you and provides you with some comfort and some companionship. In my thoughts, I will be with you out there because my hope is, as it always is, that you make this the best day it can be, despite the circumstances. And please know also that my circumstances aren't perfect either. But I'm here with you, for you, and I want you to know that whatever your situation is, I'm here. (laughs) That's all I can offer. And... You can start the communication with me anytime and we can exchange messages and we can talk. So please know that if you're listening to this, you're not alone. If you're with family, maybe you enjoy the meals, the conversations, the banter. And even if you don't agree with everyone and everything being said, I want you to enjoy it and be thankful for it. There's a reason you're sitting together with these people. If it feels forced, Try to make the best of it. Accept the situation and the people as they come. And remember that many other people wish they could sit at your table. So today on this special day, I invite you to be thankful. Not only because of Thanksgiving, but especially because of it. Sometimes we need those special days to be reminded of the simple things in life. I see two words in the word Thanksgiving. One is the word thanks. It's a big word we often throw around carelessly. Thanks for this and that, and yeah, thanks, by the way. But thanks today, and any day, means so much more. Thanks involves gratitude and appreciation for what we have. Focusing on gratitude means zeroing in on the good. Doing so, the bad, then, can become almost unnoticeable. And as you know, whatever you focus on grows larger. Thanks is the opposite of complaining. Complaining is unattractive, especially on Thanksgiving, so don't do it. It's a great day to observe yourself, and as soon as you catch yourself complaining about this and that, end it. As soon as you do, you may notice that you can actually enjoy your Thanksgiving better. Because complaining makes your mood sour. It's a train that, once you hop onto, it goes faster and faster. It pulls your emotions along and soon you will find your happiness in the gutter. So whatever you have that requires complaining, leave it at home. Thanksgiving doesn't include complaining. Instead, focus on one or two good things today. I already named a few in the beginning. 
at the very least, you have the day off. And if you don't, then be grateful for your job and your service to the community that needs your work today on such a special day. So give thanks silently on the inside, maybe written in your journal, or allow it to your loved ones in the car as you're driving to see family, at the dinner table with your family and your friends. Today I was in the gym in the morning, I went swimming. I heard it in the locker room, people appreciating others for their companionship during the challenging exercise classes and in thanking each other. That was very touching. So say it to someone, to your community, your co-workers, the people in your life that make your life beautiful. And the second part of Thanksgiving is giving. And after you give thanks, after you find something that you appreciate and are grateful for, give something. Try to be of service. I know this can be hard when you're with a bunch of people and don't necessarily share their views, but maybe you can make them smile. Maybe you can share a personal story. Maybe you can help with the dishes. Here's why I find giving beneficial. It takes the focus of you your expectations and your needs. It distracts from the resentment, the frustration, the isolation that you may carry inside. It's good for you and for others. So be selfish and use it as a strategy. When you feel the frustration rising up in you, the conflicts and discords coming out in the conversations, use this as a trigger to do something useful. Maybe you can diverge the conversation into a positive subject. Maybe you can share something vulnerable about you that removes the tension. Some feelings, some thoughts, a story, offering something from your insight that will help shift the perspective in the room. And if this is impossible, then get up and do something. Maybe someone needs help in the kitchen, or the kids would like someone to play with them. Just help in any way. Showing vulnerability may be the complete opposite of what you're doing in situations of stress and conflict. Usually we tense up, we protect ourselves, and we dish out as a defense mechanism. But what about sharing some appreciation? Maybe the exact thing that you thought of or wrote down in the thanks portion earlier? It will throw people off when you interrupt the bickering and tell everyone how grateful you are to be here with everyone. This has great side effects, as you will notice. It diffuses your bad mood, and the tension in the room. Everyone benefits. And everyone may shift their focus a little bit. A simple act of kindness. That is giving. And not taking, not expecting, not requiring. Just try it. Maybe plan it beforehand if you know that the dinner conversation may get heated. Instead of resigning to what is, change what is. And make the change by introducing something positive. People alone on Thanksgiving often go volunteer for that very reason. To be of service, not to be alone and cooped up, and to contribute in some positive way. So if you are alone, get out. Accept the invitation from the co-worker or neighbor and join them for a couple of hours. Get out of your comfort zone. Be thankful for the grace these people are extending and accept it. Give back by enlightening them with your presence, your openness, and your courage. So those are my thoughts today on Thanksgiving. Well, tomorrow is Thanksgiving, but for Thanksgiving. Two things you can focus on, no matter what circumstance you find yourself in. Giving thanks and giving something. Both are less about you and more about what really matters. An appreciation for the life we have been given and the people in it. And I'm ending with a quote from one of my favorite authors, Barbara Kingsolver, from her book Animal Vegetable Miracle. It has a powerful perspective on Thanksgiving that I want to leave you with. Wake up now, look alive, for here is a day of work just to praise creation. The turkey, the squash and the corn, these things that ate and drank, sunshine, grass, mud and rain, and then in the shortening days laid down their lives for our welfare and onward resolve. There's the miracle for you, the absolute sacrifice that still holds back seed. A germ of promise to do the whole thing again another time. Thanksgiving is creation's birthday party. Praise, harvest, 
a pause and sigh on the breath of immortality. Simply beautiful. With that, my friends, enjoy this special day. Make the best of it just like you do every day. And I'm with you in my thoughts. Much love. <laughs>